Now, I just wanted to shoot this video, tell this uh, short story, and, and give tips, really a tip, on how to deal with uh, ticketing agents or check-in agents when you're about to get your flight and you're at check-in to check in your baggage or bags or whatever who have had a bad day and for some reason want to sabotage your trip because there might be some confusion. So in this particular story, I was headed to Benin, West Africa for the Voodoo Festival. You know, I get dropped off, you know, international at Hartsville, Jack Hartsville Jackson Airport in Atlanta. Get dropped off. Go inside, you know, I'm excited and run a little bit behind. You know, and they say check in your bags like an hour or 45 minutes before you uh, uh, take off. Or, yeah, before you take off, like an hour. I was right at the cusp, like I was like at 50 minutes. So I get there, about to check in, or checked in. You know, they asked, they said, Mr. Amir, can we see the credit card that you use to purchase your ticket? I said, you know what, I don't have it because... Maybe a month earlier, I uh, was headed to Africa, headed to uh, Senegal, out of New York, and I caught a cab from LaGuardia to uh, JFK. And paying for the cab, you know, I slid my uh, debit card in the cab, and my debit card was compromised. So I had to get rid of it. Um, so I told them, like, hey, that's what happened. And they said, well, Mr. Amir, uh, you have to repurchase the ticket because you have to prove you have to present the credit card uh, so we can claim your I guess confirm your identity. I said, okay, cool, no problem. I'm running behind, so I'm like trying to hurry up, and there is this hating ass agent at ticketing. You know, making little comments like, ooh, I don't know if you're gonna make it. Then she made another comment like, hey, where were you going? I said, I was going to Benin. She said, where's that? I said, West Africa. And she's like, oh, well, uh, I don't know if you're going to make it. Just really hating. And this was a sister. Just hating. Like, I'm trying to get to the motherland. And you're trying to go out of your way to sabotage me to get to the motherland. Just hating. And I, I kind of knew she was a hater. When she asked me where Benin is, like I knew, and, and this is for people that have never been to Africa. Like I knew all the countries in Africa back when I was like in high school. So when she asked me where Benin was, I'm like, oh my goodness. I know she's about to hate now. So I said, what's Africa? She started asking hella questions like by which country. I don't know why I mentioned Nigeria. And then, you know, she went on to complete red alert. So I paid for my ticket with my new credit card. Then, you know, it was like, hey, can you let the gate know that I'm about to check in his bag so my bag can get on the flight? And so they're like, well, Mr. Amir, you'll be okay because you can't fly without your bags. I said, okay, okay. So she calls the gate and then tells the gate, oh, um, Mr. Amir is checking in his bags, but he might not make the flight. I don't think he's going to make it. We shouldn't should worry about it. I mean, this lady, and this was Delta, by the way. I love Delta. I'm a Platinum Sky Miles member, medallion member. But they was just hating. I don't know why. Well, not they. This lady was just hating. But this whole time, I'm going to tell you what I did. Because, again, if you get the wrong, if there's an issue with your flight, and if you get the wrong agent, they will sabotage your flight just because, you know, I don't know, lack of daddy issues, lack of uh, husband issues, uh, inferiority complex, Napoleon complex, I don't know. They just feel powerful when they can say, ooh, sorry, I don't think you're going to make the flight. You know, they just that makes them feel good. So what I did this whole time, and this is the tip, I just remained calm, laugh, and I smiled. Even though this sister was trying to compromise my trip to Africa, to the motherland, trying to compromise my shit, I, I remain calm and I smile. Because at the end of the day, if it's out of your control, it's out of your control. Because you're at the mercy of, of customer service. And you're at the mercy 
of uh, your agent or whatever, ticketing agent. In this case, this lady wanted to try to hate and sabotage my trip, but she couldn't. So I ended up making it, and I'm going to Benin to the Voodoo Festival. Check out the videos that are on here. This was last January. So the best thing you could do when you're having issues with your flight, something comes up, you're running late, uh, you damn near almost missed your phone, oh, you missed your flight, and of course, it's your fault, so you don't want to pay another fee or whatnot. It's just remain nice, remain calm, smile, uh, call customer service till you get the outcome you want. And it will, it will, everything will work out in your favor. You know, you might have to call customer service 20 times, but just do what you need to do to get the outcome you want to have, you want. But the main thing is remain calm, smile, be cordial, don't be rude, don't start cussing and cussing people out because them gay agents can say fuck you and your flight, fucking sleep your ass right here on this in this terminal on this couch till tomorrow. Oh well, seriously, they can do that. So that's I know that's what they be thinking deep in their head when they get the wrong, uh, the wrong customer. Oh, you want to have attitude? Fuck you and your flight. Take this little funky $10 mill voucher. Lay your ass down here on this bench overnight. We're not getting your hotel room. Oh, well. For real. So I just want to share that. Just be kind and smile when it's just not working. Going your way out the airport. And I guarantee you, 9 out of 10 times, it will, it will end, up, end up working out. Uh, follow me on social media. Search for Uhuru, Dina Samir. Uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, go to DinahSamir.com. Check out our digital African art, jewelry, fashion, accessories. Go to searchforhuru.com. Learn more information on the documentary you're shooting. Also, contribute towards those documentaries. Last but not least, go to Amazon.com. Search your name, Dinah Samir. Buy a book. Dinah Samir, Decathlon Don. Till next time, I'm out.